The following program is intended for mature audiences. Your discretion is advised. And here we are on tonight's episode of Phantom Radio. It's us. Best, what the fuck was that? It's, the, it's my phone. Oh my god, here we go. Anyways, today's episode of Phantoms Radio is a driving mobile phantom show. We are on our way to a undisclosed location <laughs> to have an undisclosed conversation about an undisclosed issue. <laughs> oh shit. Uh-oh. We got a bunch of hoodlums. Yeah, hoodlums looking for fucking worms. They're gonna go fishing. Yeah. Or crack or whatever the fuck. Jeez. Um. I was gonna tell you, do a total brain fart. Anyways. So, anyways, what are we talking about tonight? Um, we're well, going to two locations to talk to the owners and managers. Of oh the- fuck! Are you gonna tell me? See, the- really? Hey, it's fuck. all about safety. It's all about Dude, safety. you're ruining my microphone. Now it's going to be like... Not my phone. Oh, my God. The car is going to explode. Yep. Mission Impossible. Oh, gee, look. <coughs> okay. So, anyways, we're headed to location number one today. Yes. Because some things have happened that were... Uh, brought to our attention that needed to be addressed, but I won't talk about this because it's unmentionable. It's unmentionable. (laughs) Uh, In the future here, we have some possible places that we're going to investigate, and one of those places uh, we'll be headed to later today, maybe, Um, but another place... That we might be investigating, which is the Baraboo Inn. The Baraboo Inn, and where is the Baraboo Inn located? Baraboo, Wisconsin. No way. Yes, Unbelievable. Way. Yep. Um, it's it's a it's a major hotspot. Uh, a lot of paranormal groups have have done it before. Uh, one of our colleagues, Allison Jorlin who does the Mothman tours and Mothman uh, podcasts um, did a investigation oh, up there and she caught some activity um, what kind of activity is at this place uh, she's see, she seen uh, like apparitions uh, ghost box sessions uh, what's known is that um, a few people were attacked down in the basement that's why they only allow like an investigation for an hour within the basement was a couple instances where people did get roughed up in some way or another. Yeah. So, that's interesting. It's like, uh, it's... What, what was the word I'd be looking for? Erotic? Abnormal. <laughs> Abnormal activity. So, it's like, you know, it, it's, it's violent, you know, so it's like, you go down, now that we, we have from these accounts... We go, we already have it set in our mind that, hey, this spirit or spirits down in this location are not friendly. Well, you know, it, it helps that, uh, oh, jeez. It helps that, uh, you know, there's been previous, uh, look at this, dude, this, all the glass is gone out of this fucking, uh. Of course, we're on 13th and Lincoln, it's fine. Yeah, I'm sad. But anyways. As we're sitting here on 13th and Lincoln, there's a uh, bus stop where the enclosure, all the glass is missing. It's pretty sad. But, you know, typical. Typical Southside. <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> typical Southside. But, as I was saying, now that, you know, there's documented cases at this location, mm-hmm. which kind of helps us make that decision, you know, and then we can go and visit these locations on our own and make the call of whether or not we have any sort of experience. Yeah. Then going into a place blind and trying to figure out if the place indeed is haunted. Yeah. 
because sometimes uh, you know what on 13th man every like every little couple couple blocks there's a corner store yeah you know it's like ridiculous this one serves cold beer and grocery. Well, it's always dead ones. No, that one's always been there. Has it? It's been there for a while. Hmm. A lot of them close up, one mile, then a couple open up, and it goes in cycles, man. Yeah, I mean, the one by me has been around for a very long time. Yeah. Which, you know, is nice, because it's, yeah, con- it's you're, very convenient. You're, you're their favorite customer. No. See, now a whole Hey, that place is for rent right there. Yeah, like a, yeah, sure. Now you can rent that out and... Open up Keith's Delicatessen. Yeah. Sassin sandwich. It's just serving gut bombs. Don't do But, no, I'm, like I was saying, you know, sometimes going into a place that someone says, oh, yeah, hey, my place is haunted. And it's like, okay, now we take a lot of time out of our day setting up gear, setting up equipment, walking into these places, and nothing happens whatsoever. And when nothing happens, doesn't necessarily mean it ain't haunted, but it doesn't help us in setting up an actual investigation. You know, because sometimes doing a preliminary, you know, is, uh, is needed. Otherwise, we're wasting our time. Hey, ain't this where that church is, or is that... No, no. The, the Native American the Congregation of Great Spirit is on 10th here. Oh. It's up further? Yeah, it's up further. It's on the belt. No, what we're talking about is Congregation of Great Spirit is Native American Catholic Church. Um, before the, con- the Natives took it over, I should say take it over, but acquired it. It's only certain people take over stuff. That um, <laughs> wow. it used to be a Lithuanian church and a Polish church, and we did a EVP session. Didn't pick up anything, but Art felt something come down the stairs, and we did, we heard we heard footsteps. And none of us were upstairs. This was in their their uh, directory. Now I remember being there for that. And yeah. Unfortunately. You know, none of that was caught on camera or on... Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't help the, the matter. Yeah, but I mean, it was... it was It's just to prove a point is that sometimes the human ear doesn't hear something. Sometimes our equipment that is electronical that's supposed to pick up everything doesn't hear everything. Right. And, and then it goes on the reverse that our human <clears throat> ear did hear something. Well, you know, sometimes having a, an experience validates that something could be there. Yeah. You know, whether it's uh, getting an EVP or whether experiencing something yourself, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, everything is taken into consideration. It's kind of weird doing a mobile mobile uh, podcast here. Well, it's... I mean, you know, they, they've done those shows, you know, like you know, singing in the car, talking in the car about stuff. Yeah, well, you know, I couldn't do it. I, I could not get the camera. I mean, I could get the camera, but the battery was not charged. Yeah. And I tried charging it, but it was like, man, yeah, it was kind of short notice. Yeah, and that's another thing that happens. Like, we have two cameramen that are w- with us on, on our crew. Uh, one's in Chicago, couldn't make it. Fam- family uh, family uh, gathering. Uh, second one wasn't feeling good, so we, you know, you know, because of the COVID and everything, we didn't take take our precautions, and so we just improvised, rigged up the rigmaroo, the yeah. Phantoms rigmaroo. That's what it's Phantoms called. MacGyverous. Yeah, exactly. MacGyverous MacGyver. Damn, this place still in business? Yeah. The fuck we're, they do here? We're going under the old Alan Bradley building. Right, right, but is it still Alan Bradley or what? No, no, it's not Alan Bradley. It hasn't been Alan Bradley for years. Dude. What the fuck is it now? I don't know. Fucking Laverne and Shirley Pepsi fucking bottling company. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much doing the same stuff they were doing there. Stop Arrow. sign. I know. Okay, I'm just making sure. Huh? You know, because. Calm you know, down, Sally McNally, man. Dude. Jesus. You know. 
I, I'm the most cautious driver out of all. Yeah, I know that, but you know. You sit there and play with the radio. I fondle your left nut, you know, and uh, while you're why driving. Why it got to be my left nut? I don't know. I was just taking a wild guess. Yeah. But you were right about that, though. Yeah, no, I was. <laughs> so, um, we are down by second and national. Yeah. Passing by Nuna's favorite spot, Lacage. Yeah. Many times I picked up Nuna in a drunken stupor over there. Yeah. I was looking for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Dang, all these places are open over yeah. here? Yeah. Everybody thinks the COVID's over. I know, huh? Nobody's wearing masks, you know, yeah. fucking... Kind of scary. That, that's, you know... Oh, dude, I thought that was Gold Rush Chicken for a second. Yeah. Okay. That sign? I don't know why it reminded me of that. I don't know either. Flashing lights. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I got a fucking weird fucking... Because you, you're a little Sally, dude. No, my fucking stomach. I love my feelings are going to get hurt. Holy fuck. This is going to get ugly. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not? No. Right, well, we just sewed up our investigation for Shaker Cigar Bar. Yes, we signed the deal. Yeah. Um, in we, two weeks, we will be investigating Shaker's Cigar Bar in the most extreme, professional, over-the-top. Exactly. You're, 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 trying, you're trying, to make, trying to find a fucking word, huh? <laughs> I was trying, man. I got lost in there somewhere. It'll be but, Oompa loompa uh, Man. Well, wow, this is the biggest production we've ever fucking accomplished. Well... We've done it before, but... No, we've... Okay, this will be our second investigation of Shaker Cigar Bar. Yeah. But this will be the biggest investigation of Shaker Cigar Bar. Because it'll lead to what? Well, it'll lead to our possible paranormal show being on network television. And who... And uh, what the well, promotion I, is trying to? Uh, well, I don't want to. I don't want to disclose all that just yet and jinx okay. the. Uh, yeah, okay. You know, but there is a major, major development that's happening. Let's just say that. And if everything goes as planned, there's wow, dude. That place is fucking packed. I think they're breaking COVID rules. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. It was like shoulder to shoulder in that fucking window. Yeah. That's how it is. But, yeah, so... I'm, I'm a little a little speechless right now because now that we got this in the books, you know, which makes me feel better. Yeah. Because I, I was a little concerned at the, you know, the situation at hand. But with the team ooh the coppers with the team that we got set up now this is going to be a ginormous oh you pick you man I, you I, do, I do dug little, that do you have a little dictionary with uh, you dude I just I dug that I, did, I went deep for that one I, see. I went so fucking deep it was unbelievable I, I touched the bottom of the ocean. I thought you were going to say see, it was going to be super califragilisticexpialidocious. Oh no, it's beyond that. Okay. Damn, what is that? What is that restaurant? Oh no. Anyways, dude, seven oh four. See that shit? So yeah, I went, I went deep for that one because man, we got. I mean, this is going to be a big production, and. I'm hoping it's a crazy fucking night and we catch a whole bunch of good evidence and when we show it to everybody, they're going to be like, wow, we got to go to Shaker Cigar Bar and spend the night. Yeah. That's going to be on everybody's bucket list after we're done. And, I, and I'm hoping that, you know, we have a good night that night, yeah. you know, and just all sorts of crazy shit happens because let me say... The first investigation we did at Shakers was crazy. Yeah. I mean, it was, we caught the little girl in the bathroom. I mean, out of nowhere. That no didn't even sound right, dude. 
There's a, <laughs> for people that don't know, there was a spirit of a little girl who died in the apple orchard that was there before the building was ever constructed. <laughs> so, you would hear, like, whines and whimpers, and you would hear her her voice in the, in the women's bathroom. A lot of female patrons, um, employees have heard it. Uh, the last time we were there, we caught a couple orbs in there. And I caught a mist figure that went across the floor. This oh, was yeah. after hours. This was after hours. No one was in the bathroom. But while we were in the main area of the bar, and nobody was in there except us, because you guys had gone outside to check on the vehicles, yeah. we caught a strange moan come from the bathroom and we heard it it was a disembodied voice and man i was not expecting that and it freaked me the fuck out yeah, that's watched, all i gotta I, say i watched the footage and i think everybody who's ever watched the episode knows how badly you freaked out oh dude that, i did not expect that to happen you know and i'm not saying i'm a skeptic but i am one of those where I believe, but I believe more if I hear or see something. Yeah. You know? And, man, that right there. The stuff that happened on the first investigation, which you can see on the uh, our YouTube channel. Um, Instagram man, and Facebook page. Yes, we have an Instagram page, Punk69 Studio. A uh, Facebook page, Punk69 Studio. A TikTok page, Punk69 Studio. What did you do that? TikTok, jeez. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, we're yeah, we're got, everywhere. You got that short attention span. So yes, like so it. I, I got to fucking be all over the place. I'm a attention whore. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but then we also have Tumblr, Punk69 Studio. You know, so we're, we're all over the place. Oh, and Twitter, Punk69 Studio. But on Twitter... You got Punk 69 Studio, and you also got Nuna Minch. Oh, yeah. The, uh, you know, you got the two. Nuna Minch show, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you got this happening and that happening, and then me and Punk 69 Studio are collaborating. So, it's you crazy. You Punk 69 Studio, you moron. Hey, don't tell oh, everybody. Oh, you and Dick Pfeffer? No, no. Dick Pfeffer uh, retired. Yeah, okay. His no, brother, I'm... Dick Cadaver. Both of them came out of retirement a couple of weeks ago on the podcast. No, no, they were a bunch of wrestlers and uh, they retired. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So we have different uh, social media aspects. Uh, make sure to follow us on different aspects. On, usually, on different platforms, we release different material. And booty scratch. And bootyscratch.com. <laughs> we uh. We release different material. Dude, you got me wearing a seatbelt and all sorts of... Oh, hey, there it is, there it is. It's all about the safety, man. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, I'm old school. Yeah. I'm back when cars didn't have fucking seatbelts. Yeah, belts. I know. So was I. But, like I said, then you're going to he- keep hearing the ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I know. And then... I- Unless I put the seatbelt on and sit over the top yeah, of it. But then I got to think of insurance, too. So. Oh, my God. Anyways... Any- so, so we got this uh, all set up, ready to go. Now we got another uh, couple different places that we're uh, looking at, and one of them is uh, the Baraboo Inn. Yep. And then you said there was a lady who was having a lot of paranormal activity at her house. Yeah, they're seeing they're seeing a figure at the top of the steps, and it's also a, a hallway that to her to her daughter's room, and her daughter sees the apparition all the time. So, I mean, how long has this been going on? Um, I don't know. Maybe a couple months, but it's been it's just been active, like really active, and they've been seeing it. It's not just hearing things. They're actually seeing an apparition. And they say it's, it looks like an old man, but he, his face looks like really deformed. like So it kind of, you know, makes it more uh, scary for them, I guess. Um, so, I mean, and... How long have they lived in this uh, location? I don't know. I think about a year and a half, two years. So for about almost two years, they've had a situation? No, no, no. They, they, you know, they'd hear things, but they kind of dismissed it. But then once they start 
the daughter brought it to the mom's attention and she's actually seen these things and then all of a sudden the mom starts hearing things and so they're going through the motions um, now here's my question huh is there any way to get this person on bluetooth on the radio right now no why not because there's not. People have lives, dude. We don't have lives, dude. Other people have lives. Whatever, dude. Nobody's got lives. Yeah. Everybody's going through the motions of shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the light is green. Dude, look at this fucking conversion, man. Holy I know, right? Fuck, that, huh? That's what we need, right? All right. For our road trips. Damn. Yeah, since we're going to be taking the road trips, we're going to need to get off. Yeah, we're going to need something. Fucking RV. Yeah. We need an RV. Or something. We got all this fucking high tech equipment, but we can't get a fucking RV. How sad is that? Yeah. Well, the old Escalade bit the dust. Yeah. That motherfucker bit the dust, all right. Fucking the dig wow. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker exploded yeah. all over the place. But let's let's not talk about that and ruin my night. Yeah, exactly. Even though. So, like I said, um, and then um, besides her house, well, little little does the public know that two of us stay. Well, no, you we did a podcast and let you know that we do have a spirit dwelling within our residence. Um, like I said, you you see a, you see like a fog figure now and then. You you see distorted distorted images in a doorway, but then when you turn to fully face it it's gone because as you all know or if you don't know we have protective lenses over our eyes from uv rays but in the corners of our eyes we don't have that so that's why a lot of times in the corners of your eyes you'll see something but when you turn to look your uv lens is covering your, that portion of your eyes so you don't see it anymore so you dismiss it as you know seeing something that's not actually there so, um, in that case, um, again, our one of our our cameramen this feels like somebody's always sitting on his bed around three o'clock in the morning. I always think dismissing it as a cat. The cat's nowhere to be found over there. So, man, this conversion man don't know what the fuck they're doing, no, dude. They don't. They don't. Man, they're all over the place. Where the fuck are they going? They're going to Taco Bell. Yep, because they're from or or they're gonna cut through the parking lot. They're from Illinois, so. Yeah. You're not familiar with the territory. Well, let's not, you know, be all belligerent towards... Uh, Everybody from know. Illinois? No, yeah, I just said no, they're, they're because, not, you know... They're not from... Dude, don't get all... Dude, don't... And don't I don't... Say they don't know their way around, dude. Yeah. If dude, if I'm in Chicago, I ain't gonna know my way around, though. Okay. So I'm gonna be floating around. Oh, there's a talk Oh, about. look at that. What? Hangman Tours fucking sent me a thing. Good. Oh, look at that. Now it's official, dude. It's on paper. Yeah. Or on email, at least. Yeah. Hi, Nuna. So, uh, it says, Hi, Uma. Uma! Your <laughs> name is Uma. <laughs> oh, Uma. Okay. Uh, Uma Thurman. No shit. I get sued now, for sure. Yeah, you probably will. Maybe I should put You will, Joker. I'll put her in the fucking, uh, the hashtags. Yeah. Uma Thurman podcast. Yeah, no shit. For booking one for a haunted penthouse stay over. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hey, there's your favorite spot. No, that's your favorite spot. No. Spotlight. No, that's not my spot. I, you know I did security there, right? Did you? Yeah, I was on call. For, for, for spotlight. And how did that win? Recently? No. I was going to say. Ago, some years ago. That place is a shithole. Uh, I'm sorry, but. Hey, you got to go up there. Oh, look, experience over here, huh? Yeah. Is there... Damn, they're closed? Oh, it's... It's fucking after 10, yet. But I thought class. they stay open 24 hours. That... Oh, no, no. Okay. I thought they at least stay open till midnight for uh, COVID. Man, dude. That's what This, you know, last year and this year is all fucked up. Wow. With all these regulations and fucking... I mean, this has changed a lot over well, here. Yeah, I know. You know, my pick, stepdaughter works over. Picking the safe still here? Yeah, picking the safe okay. still. Okay. 
Yeah, we're over here coming into West Alice. And yeah, we're going we're over. Greenfield we're Avenue. going over to Keith's Haunted Motel. Yeah. We're gonna go say hi. We're gonna go say hi to the spirit that's there and uh, yeah, and make then, our way to another. And then go play with his cat so I can get allergies and die a horrible death on yes. fucking podcast. Yes, because that's one of the reasons why we don't do podcasts at, at my establishment anymore. Because Nuna gets the sniffles every time he's around my. Cat. Yeah, I get more than the sniffles. I think he gets the sniffles. His hypochondriac ways just. Oh kinda, yeah. Okay. Oh shit! I got a fucking dude. Get a what? Look at this. Dude, I'm driving, dude. I ain't looking. Man, you know what? I'm not you. I, I am so there. fucking tired of you not cooperating. <laughs> I'm so, so tired <laughs> of you trying to put us in danger. It's bad enough we're fucking with spirits all the time. You say, here, drive. Don't oh, even look at the Don't yeah, even look, don't at, the look at the road. Don't look at the look road. Look at my it. phone. Yeah, look at my phone. I'm like trying to do a show here. I am doing a show. And I'm, I'm, you know, look at these guys. Oh, they're getting out of, what are they, puking? So we got a car in front of us opening the doors. They're, I don't not, know. they're not puking. They probably spit. Oh my god! They can't roll their window to spit. They gotta open the door. Is it that fucking big? Jeez, dude. I mean, are you concerned? That concerned with their? Life? Yes. Should I relay? You don't have a life for your should own. I, so you're really should I relay their license plate? <laughs> this car, uh, license plate number. F U C K Y O. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So we're going to another location. That we won't disclose of. We won't disclose until we're done talking. Yes, because you never know. Shit could happen along the way and we yeah. could all fucking die. There you go. Yeah, if I keep looking at your phone and not focusing on the road, yeah, that'll Man. Happen. You know, you're so fucking Debbie Downer. It's unbelievable. Tom Ken's. What the fuck is that? Tomkins. They, they, they have ribs. I mean, uh, chicken uh, wings there and stuff. They've been a, around for years. That's a bar or restaurant? It's a bar and a restaurant. Really? Yeah, my ex- Man, dude, well, I don't, I don't really... My my uh, ex girlfriend works there. Oh fuck! Well, Which one is that? Number I'm, three thousand eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, I've been single for so long. It's like whatever, it's like, dude. I'm not you. I'm not you, fucking. Well, of course, the fucking light shuts off. All right, so we're still live. We're over here at Keith's place. Yep. We're here, here at here, the haunted teepee. It's a little native humor. So only us natives, oh. only, only us natives can say stuff like that. Um, we just. I uh, think you're it, racist. No, you're racist. You're racist, motherfucker. Yeah, you're racist against the Joker. Anyways, um, we pat down the deal with Shaker Scar Bar. We're gonna be doing it on live on the 27th. Uh, we'll be filming, doing interviews, the whole nine yards, and then once we get everything set in motion and you know all the editing and whatnot you guys will be seeing it live it'll be a uh, good experience uh well technically it won't be live but. well you'll you'll get the idea uh, if you liked our first investigation there you'll like the second one even better yeah this one's a way bigger production and uh for the podcast people at home we are live with the podcast right now as you can see my, uh, yeah, we're so we're so poor. Were you, were you <laughs> <laughs> using, using yeah. a voice recorder and a, and a, and, a, and a what is this? Uh, lanyard microphone and Bluetooth capable yeah. equipment. Yeah, so it all sounds good. In other words, we're doing it a cheap way. So you guys, while we're driving in this vehicle, if you see this vehicle coming down the road. You know, and you see some guy that looks really weird behind the steering wheel. No, you, you see, see some guy that looks like a hybrid raccoon over here. Then you'll know it's us. Yeah, but don't don't so, don't sell yourself that short. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, we're heading to another location to uh, uh, see, see how seal the deal there. Seal the deal here. See how haunted it is there, and uh, hopefully we'll get multiple multiple places to investigate. And uh, once we do that, then we'll have a whole series. If we get the Shakers and this other location, and then possibly the Baraboo Inn, and then we get the uh, the lady whose house is haunted and her child is being uh, harassed or terrorized, and then uh, we just venture on and keep going and going, helping yep. people as we go. Yep. Kind of like, kinda like <laughs> dude, I even dude, say, I'm not even going to say because we're sued for saying supernatural. Dude, I was like. Uh, hunting or saving people. Saving hunting people, thing. hunting things, yeah. 
That's fucked up. All right, we're I'm on. trying to tag this damn video, but so I just tagged uh, oh shit as a hashtag for it, and then uh, we got phantoms, paranormal investigation, ghosts, movie studio, TV show, reality TV, phantoms radio. Oh shit! What else? DouchebagTV.com. There you go. Douche. Cause ain't nobody a bigger douchebag than Noonan. Douchebag, <laughs> right there. Yeah. Dude. Oh my god. Asshole Friends. You got that yeah. one in there? Let's see. Asshole. Oh wait, we gotta put the hashtag in there. Asshole. Assholes live forever. <laughs> Asshole friends. Asshole fetish. Asshole friends. Oh, they ain't got that many though. Yeah. That's pretty sad, dude. We'll go with the assholes. Let's live forever. Damn, dude, I got an itch. Making these drives. Are you done? No, I ain't done. Damn, dude. Oh my god, you're worse than a goddamn old woman, man. Dude, I'm trying to get this fucking settled here. All right. You wanna, you wanna be famous? Or do you want to be fucking just... I'm, I'm already infamous. Yeah, so. you're infamous for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> you're the infamous douchebag. You're the infamous douchebag. Hey, look at that. Facebook. Instagram. Documentary. There you go. Those guys on TV. TV series. Oh, we got that one already? No, we don't. Or, hey, it's those guys. Yeah, let's, let's look that up. Hey... It's the whole guys. Guys. <laughs> Let's see if there is such a thing. Those girls. Hey, it's those homosexuals. No, <laughs> that's. Hey, there we go. Hey, it's those guys. Only four public posts. So what, what the fuck? Hey, we gotta help them out. So you want to be under? Hey, it's those guys. So yeah. now it'll be five public posts. Yeah. You fucking a. Oh my god. Um. I think that's enough, dude. You got like 20 of them there, man. Hashtag. Hey, ha hashtag. Hashtag. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever been done? I don't think so. Uh, probably not. Uh, okay, that's enough, I guess. All right, peanut butter. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to tag. I got to tag people, dude. What the fuck? No. Let's see here. Keys haunted. Now watch, there is. People are gonna be like, what the fuck? Keith? Oh. Alexander Keith? <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, Keith Allen, so. Hey, location question mark. Let's see if that, that place, no location found. No. Okay. Anyways, we don't wanna have people know where the fuck you live because then they'll be bothering you. No. We'll just say Milwaukee, Wisconsin. No. How about that? Yep. Put you on Punk69, Twitter, and uh, fucking Tumblr. Oh, my God, dude. You're everywhere. I'll tell you. You are just un yeah. unbelievably incredible. Did you get on Tumblr because you like that song? Because <laughs> you are a big Closet Boy George fan? No, no. Yes, you are. I've seen the posters, dude. <laughs> are you trying to lie to your public now? Yes, I am. Dun, 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 dun. But anyways. Okay. Okay, here we go. So that's that. Hey, let's see. Let's post this. Oh, okay. okay, we got to come. See, I don't know why that story still has that uh, uh, exclamation point. Obviously, I have, I have it did not load. Hey, look at that. We got a fucking little little heart. Little heart there with so a fucking red red dot on it. Someone, which, that means someone li likes our shit. Right, which is all yeah, the whiskey chow. So, hey, big shout out to the whiskey chow. Like their video. Who is the Whiskey Chow? I don't know. Let's take a look who the Whiskey Chow is. A new demographic. Oh, man. We're one step away from uh, being on uh, that one show. A? Those guys, A? No, see, now you're stereotyping. Dude, see, you're if, a I, you're dude if I want to be realistic about it. You're a horrible If I want to be realistic about it, this is all Turtle Island. This is all native land. It isn't Canada. It isn't the United States. It isn't South America. It's all so, native so, land. So, so get your ass in a boat. Get the fuck out of here. All right, anyways, that's enough for the rant. We're off. Dude, I can't go anywhere until this loads. Dude, you're going to fucking fuck up the whole system. Oh, my God. What is it with you? Why do we want to fuck the system? 
I fucking bank against the establishment. Dude, you know what? Talk, you know what? Talk about something. Look at your... You need to buckle your seatbelt. Oh, here we go with that fucking the little, safety the little bullshit. Guy, the little guy with the seatbelt, his, his little light is on, so it's letting us know that someone's not... My just, God. It's not buckled. I have never... We are we free to, for him to disappear? I have never... Dude, it's past my bedtime already. All right, he's disappeared, so... Oh, all, my all, God. We are... Oh, my God. I am so much safer now. You are. I am so much safer. Well, I, I can't believe it. My insurance thanks you. Yeah, I bet it's... Hey, finishing up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big We're almost shout there. Out to American Family Insurance. Oh shit! If you need car insurance? There are the people to go yeah, to. Yeah. Okay. Not. Don't do it. I got. <laughs> I got a good uh, thing. With yeah. What's your rates? Dude, for three cars, it's uh, three hundred and uh, thirty-five dollars. A month. A month for three cars. Full coverage. Full coverage. There you go, people. I won't talk about Geico. That I'm with. I won't mention it at all. Yeah. You just want it because you like the lizard. Which is a Geico. No Geico. comment. Alright, so did it load? It's loaded. It's gone. Okay, you can fucking all drive. Alright, we are off. You we're off now. Hopefully to... uh we'll off to see the wizard. I don't know if I like this fucking mobile podcast. There's just a lot of downtime. What do you mean a lot of downtime? You were a lot of downtime focusing on... Oh, Dude, well, you know, we're in a, ba- you know, we're in a bad move. fucking location. You know, there's no Wi-Fi connection. Shit's fucking loading slow. Dude, we're in a nice neighborhood. You yeah, know nice neighborhood. Whatever, dude. Fucking burning trucks on fire. Fucking people throwing fucking... Gas bombs and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. That all sounds... Fucking... Hey, that, that, ain't, that ain't back in the... That's back in the day. It's back in the... Yeah, really that's nice. back in like last week. You know, this is this week, you know. They moved up give a me, bit. Give me flashbacks throwing cocktail bombs and whatnot. And we're going under some fucking... We are going under... Under some bridge that looks like some sort of fucking... So you can have dirty hobo sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dirty Dan and the boys. Holy fuck, dude! This is this is fucked up, dude. No, actually, this is a Slinger Slinger Street, which is a nice, quiet street. Yeah, I bet. Because it takes you all. Nobody way. talks on Slinger Street because what happens on Slinger Street it stays on <laughs> Slinger Street permanently buried. Yes, there's a lot of places you can. Yeah, like next to that fucking burned down FedEx truck. It's not burned down. It's been towed. Dude, I don't know. I don't know about this next location. Hey man, you're gonna hear it firsthand, dude. So you can make you can make the call. I'm already saying, it's fucking fuck. Now that we've uh, established that we're on a road to nowhere, what the fuck is this, dude? Where did that come from? That's the story of your life. <laughs> on the road to nowhere. At least I know where I'm going. See, this would have been so much better if we would have had the crew with us. Yeah, you know, well, like the comment- I- you know, things happen. Someone doesn't feel good, you know, don't want to risk it. And the other one is doing family things with their family in the land of Illinois. Illini, Illinois. Hmm. See, now we are at the AG Village. Yeah. That it's... is the location of State Fair Park. So fourth and Schlinger. Hey, remember when uh, we were growing up? Remember March of Dimes, Funkin' Haunted House? Yep. JC's Haunted House, or whatever the fuck that was. March of Dimes Haunted House. I don't know what the fuck you were just thinking of. I don't know why. Maybe because you said Slinger. I don't know, but it made me fucking think of that for some weird reason. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yes, we are venturing onto the freeway. Oh my God, the freeway of death. Yes. This Look is at that. deeper savings. D- deeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God, we are fucked. I, I get. I hey, you ever watch that show, uh, Trailer Park Boys? Not really. Not really you gotta watch it. It's actually. Yeah. I get a kick out of that show. 
That's that's my, you know, like there's comfort foods. Yeah. You know, Trailer Park Boys is my comfort food for when I'm feeling shitty. Oh, okay. It's one of those shows that it's just like. And this is a shout out to Trailer Park Boys. You guys are my inspiration for when I'm not feeling good, when I'm down, when I'm just feeling shitty or depressed. You're my comfort food. Bull job! <laughs> Jeez. Suck any harder there, dude? Holy, Holy fuck. God. Whatever. Whatever. Anyways, I know how you feel. Actually, I was watching outtakes of uh, Supernatural bloopers and whatnot. Yeah. That's what I watch when I when I feel not myself. Dean's cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what you. That's what, that's you, what got, you. That's what you got tattooed on your back. Oh, oh my God, Sam's balls. <laughs> that's what you got tattooed behind your ass crack. <laughs> you're such a, you're such a man. Where's your uh, supernatural tattoo? No, my son, oh, my son, my son has one. My son has one. By my nuts. My son has one, believe it or not. I know. You, I, you sent me the... Fucking the, real fan. He's a real fan. But, hey, whatever, you know, that that's... You know, he's got the tattoo, so it's it's cool. Yeah. At least you don't look like the Joker. Wow. It's always always down that road we go, don't or, we? Or a, dr- or a drunk sugar skull. So, whatever. Fucking loser. Yeah, I'm the only loser I can tolerate you. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Last part of the podcast. Uh, you're with your. And the man coming down the hill is approaching us. Run him over. <laughs> you're with you. Dude. Let's see how many hits we got on fucking uh, Instagram. Man, we got a bunch of hits on Instagram. Yeah, a whole nine. Yeah, wow. Wow, that's better, dude. I know, I'm kidding, because there's like a whole lot of them. I don't, I don't want to deceive our our, our uh, listeners. Well, I don't know why you would deceive their listeners. Oh, you anymore. are. Dude, whatever, dude. <laughs> you are so full of it. Uh, because it's the Nona Show. It's the Apache Show. Anyways, we did talk to some of the patrons at this establishment that we're going to do a possible investigation at location. We'll just call it location two. Hey, whose number is that? Dude, I, I'm driving, dude. I am not going to look at your phone. <laughs> you know what? I have just about had it with your fucking <laughs> bad attitude of looking at fucking people's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I'm not. Folks, we're on a freeway. So I'll let you guys know that we're traveling fast on a freeway over 50 miles an hour. He wants me to look at a fucking phone. Number. You know what? I don't appreciate your negative bullshit. I think I don't appreciate your sarcastic tone there. You know, we are doing a uh, a podcast for radio. Yep. And you're doing some bullshit for fucking... I don't know what the fuck. I'm... Being a good driver, so we don't die. Whatever. Whose number is this? It's a fucking number you got put in your phone, you schmuck. No, I don't know. The bill collector. Rang your phone. I thought it was fucking somebody. No, I thought it was one of your numbers. No, I got one number. Yeah. Well, you so mean how many times I switch my numbers? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bad habit. So I mean, I don't even know if you're calling me or not half the time. Do you switch your number so many fucking times? It's yeah, unbelievable. I switch phone companies like I'm changing. Yeah, it's 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 horrible. Yeah. It's as bad as you sing singing the song. So. There's a way past my bedtime. Yeah, it is. So we did talk to the people at the establishment trying to set up another investigation. So far, we have a possible three investigations under our we, belts. We have a definite one. Possible yes, to. a definite one, because we even got an email confirmation from for Unga. Unga, yes, Unga. I don't know. Unga, <laughs> Unga from Russia. Unga, Bunga from Bugs Bunny. Unga from Russia. Hopefully, we'll do 
this lady's house and then we'll do the uh, the other investigation mm -hmm. and then we'll do your house I guess yeah. at the very end yeah by then I'll have my allergy medicine to uh man dude I just got a feeling it's gonna be bad news I gotta get mad well, for, for for people at home that don't know, I have severe allergies, and this guy's got dogs and cats. Cat. Dude, it might as well be cats. Dude, you never know, man. It might as well be. Might, might get a couple more just to agitate you. <laughs> okay. See, well, that's what I'm afraid of. I'll get I'll get real friendly ones like rubbing on legs. Uh, he'll have a whole fucking house full. He'll be like the cat lady. Yep. Watch you go into a yeah. allergic shock. Allergic and shock. Can film it. And it. There you go. And then at the last minute, we'll save his life and whatever. Put the paddles to him. So on that note, but waffles must be cooked when we arrive. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Hey, we're going to be hungry taking that trip. So I'd like some waffles. When uh, I get there. Anyways, dude. Whatever. All right, then. That's dude, why you got to bring up waffles? Now you made me hungry, dude. Signing off. No, now I'm hungry. I don't, I'm not taking... No, not, like, now you got to buy me waffles. I, dude, I bought you... Here, here. Have a, Reese, have a Reese's peanut butter cup. Dude, I got fucking Reese's... Dude, and then even a fucking... That's a king size Reese's peanut butter. You know what though? This ain't even the fucking eggs. No, it's not. I bought the fucking it's Reese's. It's not even Easter yet. Dude, I've been buying the fucking Reese's peanut butter eggs. You know the the ones that are yeah, shaped like I eggs. No. Dude, those are fucking good as fuck. Oh, they are, dude. They're I thick mean. as fuck. Dude, they're like fucking extra peanut buttery. Like so good. this right here, this is just a tease. You're handing me a tease of your affection for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm taking it back because I have no affection for you. Yeah, me. you need that on the ride home. You know that. Everybody knows that. I know that. Hey, you know what? He's going to continue talking even when he gets out the car. He's going to be talking to himself. Yes. Yes, I'm going to carry on this podcast into the wee hours of the fucking night. Uh, I wonder if the batteries did it. Dude, I don't even know. See? Let's take a look. No, the light's still on. Oh, wow. Oh, but it's on two bars. Okay, it's on yeah, two bars. Yeah, it lasts pretty long. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to end this right now. Thank you for listening and tuning in to tonight's radio of Phantoms Radio about nonsense and bullshit while we were driving. It's sort of paranormal. Yeah, sort of paranormal. Well, it, we talked about a bunch of shit. Here, my, my, my soul is opening up by itself. It's oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even though I see fingers. So, thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you in uh, about two weeks.